Bows. 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 Yeah, we on Boss Talk 101. Yeah, we gon' talk, we gon' have fun. We be on fire, we be lit lit. Check it, check it, check it. It's a unique host. It's your boy ECO, and I'm here with the lovely, amazing, official Miss Jamaica. What's going on? Not none of you know my going, but I want to let y'all know to make sure you like, subscribe, follow, share us on all platforms, all social media platforms. I'm mean, I mean Facebook, Instagram, YouTube, TikTok, Snapchat, you name it, we're on it. But the most important place for you to go right now is our Patreon channel because that's where we're going to start putting all our full-length interviews. Y'all been asking for our full-length interviews? That's where you're going to find them. We've been spoiling you a little bit on YouTube, but that's going to stop very, very soon. But for a small membership fee, you can now go to our Patreon channel and sign up, and that's where you're going to find it. Well, you get better at that every time. Just trying to educate them, huh? <laughs> <laughs> Check it, man. Hey, man, I got a guest here today, y'all. She don't need no introduction, man. Y'all going to know her when you see her. You know what I mean? She's a <laughs> writer and producer, actress. I mean. Singer. Singer, well-known. Uh, listen, man, bar room, uh, it, um, among many more we about to get into mm -hmm. anyway, man. Miss Karen Abercrombie is in the building. Stop playing. She's here by way of, is it Pennsylvania? She's from somewhere upstate, because well, I'm going to tell you something. Originally <laughs> Pennsylvania, but I'm in the uh, North Carolina area right now. Man, That's North okay. Carolina right okay. now, man. She's here. Let's get to it. Yes. Welcome, welcome, welcome. Thank you. I'm glad to be here with you guys. Awesome. So, like, for me personally, I like to get into your background. Yes. Because I know there's a reason why you're here today yes. and doing what you're doing, but we yes. got to see where you came from. Yes. So, what was it like growing up in Pennsylvania? A, a beautiful place to grow up uh, in Pennsylvania outside of uh, Pittsburgh, little small town mm. called Aliquippa. But um, growing up... Um, was a lot of stuff going on, you know. It wasn't country. Is it country out there? Um, or was it? You were in the city part. What was it? Well, I, town, I guess you would call oh, okay. it at that time. Yeah, uh, Pittsburgh uh, was known for steel and the railroads oh. and all of that when I was growing up, mm -hmm. and um, it's changed now. But um, yeah, I loved uh, the little area I grew up in. It was truly a village. Mm. Yeah. Yeah, it was a village then, and Lord knows I needed a village. <laughs> no, no, seriously, um, I've got two brothers, two sisters, but my mom was an oh, alcoholic. Oh, were you fall in between those oh, two Oh, I brothers. was two. Okay. The so second you, child. Okay. Yeah. Hey, mom was an alcoholic? Yeah. And, uh, and Terribly? Drugs. Yeah, she got to be very, 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 very bad. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Do you remember good times? Oh, 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 absolutely. Oh, my okay. goodness. Oh, lots of good times. Okay. So um, you said alcoholism, but was your father also an alcoholic? Was he? Yeah, at some point he also became an alcoholic. And, and he then, was in the house as well? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. And okay. then um, so uh, I became sister, mother, mm. you know, a lot. But like I said, where we grew up, it was a village because mm -hmm. we had Miss Daisy, Miss Peggy, Miss Emily. And they all looked out Oh, for you. yeah, 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 yeah. They took up the slack. Okay, that's awesome. Yeah. That's awesome. Yeah. Um, but you became like a mother figure because I know a lot of children who do that even today. And for me personally, when I look on them, I look at them with admiration, but I look at them with also pity in some sort of manner because mm -hmm. you're, you're not being able, it's like you're being robbed of your youth. You're being robbed of your childhood. But see, sweetie, anything that the devil does, anything that comes your way, any mountain that you have to climb or valley that mm -hmm. you find yourself in, that helps to prepare you for what it is the Lord has for right. you, you know. Oh. And so you then become an expert to speak to a child who will be coming up in a similar situation mm -hmm. or a woman or whoever, whatever your situation is, God will take that script and he will flip that baby. Right. right. Yeah. But did you know that as a child, though? Because, you know, some kids be like, well, this is unfair. Oh, oh, no, I did not know that. But there was enough love that radiating from it. the village and from my parents, mm -hmm. you know, that, um, oh, I felt it. You know, I'd be embarrassed and stuff, but it we 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 made out. We, we did well. We did OK. Mm -hmm. You know, we came through. We made it through. How old were you when you left Pennsylvania? Oh my goodness, I was, I had gone to the University of Pittsburgh for two, uh, only two 
see. Yeah, 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 yeah. I only did two. Um, two years? No, no, two, two years. I went uh, two semesters. Two semesters, okay. And I realized that, you know, any time I had free time, I wanted to find somebody's stage to be on. I just love oh. the theater, even though I was... Uh, going intentionally to study psychiatry. Oh, that's what you, know? you wanted to yep, do. Yep, 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 yep. So yep. when you were in or, high school. Or at least what I thought I wanted to do. Come right. on now. But when you were in high school, did you do theater? Oh, yes. Okay, so that's where you found your passion for oh, theater. Oh, my goodness, yes, yes, yes. School plays, all of that. Oh, yes, 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 yes. Yeah. Starring roles at that oh, point? Oh, yes, 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 yes. <laughs> and, and, and my elementary school was predominantly um, Caucasian. Mm. But uh, they had auditions for uh, Cinderella. Mm -hmm. and, and, and Did you make the part? Yes, I did. Oh, my yeah, God. made the part, made some history. <laughs> <laughs> wow. But, yes. That's mm -hmm. good. Mm -hmm. So that's what you, so you found out in in college, that's what you wanted to do. No, that's when I got the nerve The up nerve Because up. I was just wasting time. time. And when you were there, were you there on a scholarship or were you there just, at, you know, for Oh, college? no, I was there. Uh, financial no, no aid, all of oh, that yeah, stuff. yeah, all of that. Yes, okay. ma'am. Because, you know, as parents, they're like, well, financial aid, you did all of this. You got to pay this back and da-da-da, mm -hmm. loans mm -hmm. and whatever. Mm -hmm. And now you want to quit? Mm -hmm. What you mean? Mm -hmm. Did you go through that? It there there they understood, they understood what I had and that I that was a point where okay. I was going to step up and so step you had into my support. shoes into my shoes. Okay, that's you know. good. So when you left, what did you do? I auditioned for a school in New York, uh got in. You know, my high school uh drama teacher helped mm. me Prep okay. For it. Okay. Uh, Mr. Carmazin, and um, from there I just kept going, and kept I going. lived in New York City doing theater for many years before I moved out to LA. Is it true that if you want to get into theater or movies, you have to be in either LA or New York? That is what it was. A Atlanta is is the new Hollywood right now. Okay. You know, it's it's changed, but that mm -hmm. at that time that is what, what it, was. it was. That was the law. That was the route that everybody took. And coming from Pennsylvania, I mean, yeah, Pennsylvania. Mm -hmm. How was New York to you? It was exciting. I was a student. Broadway was there. You know, all of that fine, fantastic, awesome off Broadway was there. You know, and people were creating new works all the time. Mm -hmm. So for me, it was absolutely exciting. Any trials, though? Oh, my goodness, yes. Tell me about a yes. trial that oh. you went through that you're like, at that point, because, you know, when we go through trials, sometimes at that point we don't see a way out. We're like, it devastated. Which trial? <laughs> the I know the that's most right. memorable <laughs> trial. In life or as a student? As a student at that time. Oh, as a student at that time, just just uh, going from job to job. I never had the oomph that it took to be a waitress. Just my heart's on my sleeve. You know, if somebody would look at me the wrong way. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. So, so then uh, from job to job to job. And, and then I became a dental assistant and that is where I stayed the longest before mm. I started getting some nice breaks and right. nice opportunities. And you were going to you were acting had, at that I, time. Yes, yes. Okay. After I had gotten out of acting school, the rule was you couldn't really audition for anything. But I did sneak away one summer and audition for um, Tambourines to Glory at the Billy Holiday Theater. Oh. And that's where I met Sam Jackson okay. and all of the wow. other, yeah yeah a lot of other wonderful what, people what, that what, are doing when real was well. That? When what, what year was that? Oh my Let's God. talk about it. It was like 83, 84, 85. Samuel L. Jackson was he? No, he was just no. Sam Jackson. Sam Jackson. Yeah, let's just talk about it. Let's, let's just talk about it though for a second. Was he had, hadn't done coming to America yet? No, <laughs> no, but he was killing some stage. He was, <laughs> he was killing <laughs> stage, yeah. Man, so yeah. what did you see him and yourself, but him uh, growing and being the guy that he is today? Well, th th there was a whole little posse. Everybody was off the chain. Okay, you had Negro Ensemble at that time. Wow, mm. and you, you know, uh, Ruby D, and they'd still pop in as you know, even though they had moved away. But I mean. 
No, you had the heavy hitters. They were well respected, the Negro Ensemble. Mm. Wow, wow. You know, that's so everybody heavy. was bad. Mm. Man, I, I, you know, I just, I, I love to see people that look like me, man, just moving and scaling. You know what I mean? Because yes. we've been through so much, our people. You know, when I think about you and I think about the times when you was talking about Pennsylvania, I go back to the 60s, the 70s, and the things that you go through. And I'm thinking about those times, even though a little bit before my time, I'm like, if it was tough during my time. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I know yeah. you've seen some things. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So yeah. for you to be Cinderella, it's really something. That, no, that was that was God. And heavy. as I got yeah. older <laughs> and realized all of that stuff, you know, wow, his hand yeah. was mm -hmm. on you mm -hmm. back yeah. then, and you didn't even know. Yeah, yeah. You know. Preparing you up. I, I, when I look at your roles, you you play a role. Most of the time, the things that you play in can change one's life. Mm. And I think that's heavy, heavy. But see, that is what I want to do. For me, it is ministry. Yeah, I may be doing somebody else's words under somebody else's directions, but it's praise to the creator, to the source that gave me the gift. So it's always first linear. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah. Well, when, when did you, and, the, and, I, and I was listening somewhat, when did you decide this is basically, mm -hmm. what was that first role? What was that first thing that you knew full-fledged, this was where you was at with it, the acting? Uh, when did that happen for you? Oh, it, it may have been a two-character piece that I did in a small little theater in New York City. Wow. And um, just, you know, that desire, it's, burned harder and heavier than it ever did and uh there was no way i was gonna go back or give up even mm. though you know you have your hungry hungry mm. times as a student mm. i don't know if you know about mm. it yeah. you know and 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 all of that but as i look back it was all worth it and it also reminds me as i look back that you got to always remember to reach back mm -hmm. and so somebody. that you bring others alongside mm -hmm. you. And if there's that one, you make sure you're behind them to push them forward. Mm -hmm. You know, mm -hmm. that is what we're called to do. It's not me. It's not mine. It's not whatever. It's ours. And we are here. See, we have to link that village back up like mm -hmm. that village that stepped up when my mom was, you know, wasn't available, wasn't there. Yeah, yeah. Man. I love the fact that you said that because there's so many people in the entertainment industry who will reach back to help you, but if they see that you're trying to surpass them, oh, they're no. like, put the brakes on it and uh, be no, like, that's, uh, uh, that's terrible. That's terrible. And that is, that's but I'm happy you said that though because more people need to be need to practice that. Mm. But for God to build you up, for you to come to that place of thinking to yourself, man, that you you know you're good enough and I, I can do this. Yeah. You know, the prodigal son thought to himself. Mm. Yeah. You know what I mean? He said, how many hired servants do my father got? See, yeah. sometimes you gotta grab and think to yourself and figure Absolutely. it out for yourself because from you coming from a dysfunctional family as a young girl mm -hmm. and then being able to find that yes. is very important. And it, Very important and God, everything he does is intentional. And so when I give my testimony and I can tell kids families uh, from where I came and then that God uh, even in, in my crazy party girl days that God never canceled out what he had intended for me mm -hmm. from his first thought of me mm -hmm. back at the foundations of the very world you know um, all I have to do is step up and and and, and get into alignment and mm -hmm. You get what he has for you. Correct. You know? Yeah, and I, I like it. You know, I told D.O.C. the other week when he was on here, mm -hmm. and the same thing applies, you know, is uh, when the blind man was blind in chapter 9 of John, mm -hmm. and he talks mm -hmm. about uh, a father who did sin, this this man or his parents that he was made blind. Yeah. When you start oh, to right, see that. Sin. Yeah, mm -hmm. you see what I'm saying? And they're trying to find fault in this person, that person. Mm -hmm. But at the end of the day, it's for the works of the Father to be made manifested in mm -hmm. you or in that person's life. Oh, absolutely. That's because heavy. if you know absolutely. DLC, do you know who he is? I don't. Oh, He's no. a rapper. And he had a wreck a long time ago, like over 30 years ago. And uh -huh. he had lost it. He was lost his voice. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So when he speak, he speak really raspy. And uh -huh. You, he couldn't rap the same way how he used his to rap. Was right. He was with right. NWA yeah. back in the days. Oh, wow. And um, after that, so I had asked him, I was like, when did you mentally get over that? Because you can physically get over it, but mentally get over that. And he's like, 
30 years. It took me 30 years to get over that. And I was like, how? He's like, God. Yeah. Because actually open his eyes so, to it. So it's, it's like sometimes, like you, you know, like I said, when I, when I think about it, just being a young girl, you talk about coming from that dysfunctionality, mm -hmm. right? Like it was tough in the home. Mm -hmm. Like something happened to where you felt like this ain't right. You mm -hmm. know what I mean? And I heard mm -hmm. you speak on it on mm -hmm. another interview, mm -hmm. but mm -hmm. it's like, but for you to be who you are now and for you to help so many people with the movies and stuff that you've done. We sat at home during COVID and watched Pure Flix till we couldn't watch Pure Flix no more trying to cleanse ourselves because we hadn't had to look at each other mm -hmm. for a very long time. <laughs> and a lot of people we both don't know about Pure Flix. Yes. Yes. Doing all yes. this other stuff mm -hmm. and now I got to look at her. Y'all mm -hmm. said she cute. Well, I'm trying to find the cuteness. <laughs> right. Because right. I've been with right. this yeah. woman and we've been through hell and high water right. and right. I'm trying to figure out if this is where we're going to be. And right. You pop on the TV. Mm. Different people pop on it, encouraging, and we say mm -hmm. we don't want to listen at that no more mm -hmm. because this right here, we don't want to hear nothing but what's real. How did we find Pure Flix? Do you, you remember? I think you found it one day just yeah, looking through just apps. Yeah, just looking through apps and stuff <clears> like that because I didn't know anything about this. You have your Netflix, you have all these other ones, and when I saw Pure Flix, I'm like, huh. It's just the name alone mm -hmm, sound mm -hmm, like, okay, mm -hmm. so when you look through it, I'm like, okay, no cursing, nothing mm -hmm. really, you know, no sexual, no this, mm -hmm. no that. I'm like, okay, this is a great platform. Yeah. So, you know, that's when Thank we started you. Oh, watching okay. it. And we're like, and then we found you have so many different films on there. And then, of course, War Room is one thing that I'm telling you that Man. if you I shared War Room Claire, on Facebook like a million times. Look out, Miss Claire. Hey, listen. Because being married... I would tell everyone she that this is... She do tell everyone. Even today, I, and I would get so mad if when I follow up, I said, did you watch it yet? Did you watch <laughs> it yet? She do this all the time. And they say, no. I'm like, you need to watch this. Yeah. Because when you call me, tell me you having this, this, this problem, you need to watch this. I'm not going to tell you what to do, but you need to watch this. This will help you. And anytime I feel like I'm having problems in our marriage, mm -hmm. I will pull up that movie and watch that movie. Because to me, I don't want to give no spoilers, but you realize that you're not fighting, I'm not fighting him. Mm. I'm fighting mm. somebody I cannot see. Ooh. You understand yes, what I mean? Yes, ma'am. And every single time I watch that movie, there's one part that gives me goosebumps. And it's when <laughs> Priscilla, like, she, she sends the devil out of her house. Yeah. Yep. And say, get out. And mm -hmm. then she shuts the door and then she come back again and say, and as a matter of fact, mm -hmm. And I get goosebumps every single yes. time she does that. Let me ask you a question. Like yes. when, when you was preparing for that part, um, just give me a spill. I want to. I want to run down. Like like walking up to that situation. How it even came together. Like I how did know. she get that part? No, I want. I want. I'm, I'm asking you. Like I want to know. Oh, it 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 uh, some deep divine stuff. See when when when. Uh, Things are lean, mm -hmm. and you're still trying to do the right thing, and these roles are coming, and they're not good for you to take, and you're like, mm, how can I talk my way into it and or whatever and it not be so bad? But I made a choice that I was going to um, be God-honoring with the projects that I take. I love that. I had gone to a Women of Faith conference, and in between the different women speaking, they had a um, an actress who would do different scenes and monologues named Nicole Johnson, and um, she was killing it, too. I had never seen anything like it. And I was like, okay, God, if you would just allow me to use the gift that you've given me, the way you're allowing her, I'll give you everything that I have. I didn't want to be Nicole, but I did want him to use me in a mighty way. And so as the years went on and the years kept taking, I'd take this, that, this, that. But I got more involved in my church, writing, directing dramas and mm -hmm. whatnot. And then um, me and my husband, we thought it was us who had decided to leave L.A. But I <laughs> realized that that was not the case at all. So anyway, we leave L.A. and we move to North Carolina. Why mm -hmm. would an actress move to North Carolina? Mm. So anyway, we were house hunting, and um, the last realtor to show us a house uh, saw a license plate on my then Ford Windstar minivan, and it read the book. I had a van. I've only got one child, and I had him when I was 103. <laughs> And baby, I was on my knees for him for a long time, and then God did honor it. Oh, but wow. we, we were fostering. 
So mm-hmm. I needed a van to carry my foster kids around. Mm-hmm. And anyway, the lady, the realtor said, so uh, the book, your license plate, what is that? Is that the book? I said, what book are you talking about? She said, you know, the Bible. I said, yes. Yeah. So she asked where I was going I to church. That. I said, honestly, we've been going to different churches, but we haven't found one that we felt God was telling us to stop, Stay. grow mm-hmm. roots. And she said, okay, well, you know what? Um, this weekend, why don't you come down to my church if I give you the address? Would you consider? I said, mm-hmm. sure. So we went down, walked in those doors, baby. The spirit was up in that place. The doctrine was sound. You always have to check your doctrine. Exactly. You can't let anybody just that's tell you whatever because there's mm-hmm. a lot of crazy coming Especially from the Especially when pulpit. you know it. Mm. That's why you got to know it for yourself. Mm-hmm. Mm. And so, and, and the worship was on fire. So one year led to two years, led to three years, led to eight years. And then a gentleman said, Karen, the Kendrick brothers are going to be making a movie. I think you should audition. I think you're the one they're looking for. He said, I've seen how you served here mm. the eight years that you have been here, and I believe you're the one. Mm. So he said, I'm going to send you some uh, dialogue. No, I'm, I'm going to give you their information, send a picture and resume. I did. And I didn't hear anything back from them. He asked me, he said, well, have you heard from the Kendrick brothers? I said, no. Mm. He said, that's okay. That's okay. Because they're going to be holding auditions next week. Right here in our church. Mm. Okay. He knew that. He brought (laughs) them to me. To you. So on the day of the audition, you know, the guy sent me the sides from Miss Clara. He said, and and I know you're the one. Because I've seen what you can do. Mm -hmm. So, um. The day of the audition, day of the audition, I went into my closet, found something that I thought would be appropriate for, for an eighty-year-old woman, mm-hmm. and then I found a wig that I thought would suit this Miss Clara character that I was envisioning. So that was your wig in the movie. It was a different wig, but, okay, I, but because, you know I've got <laughs> lots of wigs, so I had a gray wig, very okay. similar. Okay, and so I got dressed up and I went in in character and I stayed in character the entire time. And when I was through, they asked me to give my testimony, and I gave it. I gave the good, the bad, and the, ooh, even worse. Uh, mm-hmm. <laughs> and then I left. And when I got home, uh, the phone was ringing, and they were offering me the role. But see, check this out. The Kendrick brothers, mm-hmm. they're some praying brothers because they had interviewed well-known gospel singers and actresses, but God kept telling them no mm. because, girl, it was time for my heavenly father mm-hmm. to answer the prayer that I had put up to him 13 years prior. Mm-hmm. Okay. Wow. Yeah. And that's beautiful, man. I, 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 I can tell that it was something because I know so many people lives changed behind mm-hmm. one room. So many, man. I already know it. I'm telling you, she gives this movie to every friend we got. <laughs> Every time that's she gonna solve their relationship with this movie, and that's how she think. And I agree with her because there's so many jewels in it. You yeah. know, what was the most, uh, what scene or line from that movie was the most outstanding? The, the one that you hold on to that there, there were so many, but uh, one was sometimes you got to get out of God's way. Mm-hmm. You know, you can pray and you can talk in tongues and you can do a whole lot of things. But if you don't leave space for God to come in and do what he says he will do, Mm -hmm. you know, because then we're sort of like becoming God and not realizing, well, I'll do it. I'll do it. No, just sit back. You got to trust. And in that trusting and sitting back, then you grow your faith. Mm -hmm. He said he will do it. Give him the space in which to work. But it's not even just that. The part that was funny to me, but was so real. You know which part I'm talking about? Probably about the guy with the gun no. that came out. Oh, probably, That's, I'm going to get to that I, part. I'm not but really no. worried about that part. I, the, I'm just being real with you because you. I know God will do it. No, let me tell you the part. <laughs> and this can go for not only if you're married. This can go for anybody. Is that coffee. Oh, <laughs> that, was all right. <laughs> that was so funny, yes. but real. It, because it, yes. when I think about people on a whole, because let me tell you, whenever I'm, before I met my husband, um, you know, like I tell you earlier, I was raised in the church. Mm-hmm. So, you know, you raise in the church and 
when I met him, I realized that most people who go to church, they just listen to what the preacher say. They don't go research for themselves. They don't do any of that. But living life, you know, yes, you go to church every Sunday. Then you might be at a club this day. You might do this. And, mm -hmm. you know, you read the word here, but sometimes you don't understand it. And you're wondering why you can't get it, why you can't this. And you in and out of the Bible. Mm. And when I met him, before I met him, I prayed for someone to come along who can help me to understand, help me to complete me, help me to get where I need to get, yes. where spiritual is concerned. Yes. You know yes. what I mean? And so when I met my husband, it was all of that and more. Yes. So it was a case yeah. where, <laughs> okay. it was a case That's where, it. but in life as humans, we still do that. This half and half, we, t we, we you get, and I, I say it's the devil, I say it's the world, I said, because the devil have a, a way of keeping us busy. Oh, yeah. You understand what oh, I mean? Yes. That we don't have Morning, the time. Morning, noon, and night, so you don't have time to fill up at that filling station on your knees. So you're lukewarm. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You're not hot. You, you're mentally hot, but you're not doing the things you need to do to stay hot. So it's like, and I see how that can relate to everyone. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. So to me, just that part alone is just like, that's what it means to me. Mm -hmm. I think, mm -hmm. like I said, that, that lukewarm, that's, that's that Revelation 3 and 16. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. You know, we all like to jump to John in 3 and 16. Yeah. But that Revelation 3 yeah, and 16. I will spew you. <laughs> <laughs> I'm like, Whoa! But I, I mean, I like when yeah. you when you was chanting, "My was God funny. is my my God," and you was just chanting oh, it. And, yeah. and when you're in the house by yourself, see, I didn't cry a lot of times in the house mm. by mm. myself in this mm. store by myself. Mm. See, it's a it's a difference when you really connect to God. You don't need nobody to praise God. Oh, you can just praise Him by yes, yourself. Yes. You don't, and it'll hit you in a way to where you it, when the Spirit hits you, it don't matter where you at. Mm. It'll tell you mm. it's time to praise Him mm. or it's time to be still. Mm. Uh, I used to love the old ladies and back in the days to say, cut them lights off when it starts storming. Oh, uh, uh -huh. the, the thunder. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Unplug yeah, everything. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you know, the, mm -hmm. just the stillness to be connected yes. to God is yeah. so great. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? Yes. So yes. I just, I thank you. Again, oh, I'm, I'm gonna grateful. continue to thank you for letting God use you. Thank you. Mm -hmm. That's grateful. that's what it's all about. He grateful. used you for that scene. Now let's get into. But that now, we part, can stay on War Room this whole. Interview. But I want I have <laughs> one more part of War Room because I'm curious about the part because you brought it up. The part where you are being attacked. Would you ever do that in real life? I don't know. I I believe that. Or have you ever heard you of anybody doing that in real life? No, no, no. But I've I've heard uh, something close with somebody would say, oh, Jesus. Oh, my God, Jesus. And then people would just back away. Mm. Mm -hmm. OK, mm -hmm. because seeing that, you know, a lot of people are like, eh, ain't nobody going to really do that in real life. Oh, man, like you just never know, because the devil knows the name mm -hmm. and he knows of when course. you are clear on the name mm -hmm. that, you know. Mm -hmm. who he is and who whose you are. Mm -hmm. yeah, the devil knows that stuff. Listen, man. The word of God says every knee shall bow. Yes. See, you got to go back to the scripture. That's who you're dealing yes, with with yes, me. Yes. You're going to go back to the scripture and get where it come mm -hmm. from because mm -hmm. at the end of the day, it tells you every tongue mm -hmm. must confess. Yes. That's everybody. So at the end, mm -hmm. end of the day, when you know that, you know the power. The power Ooh. is in the name of the Lord. Mm -hmm. So you don't have to worry about it. this is something that is real. Mm -hmm. When you, The Bible says, so is a man thinketh in his heart, so is he. So mm -hmm. it's it's according to how you feel and how you mm -hmm. believe mm -hmm. in God. Mm -hmm. Now, if you want to sit there and act like it ain't powerful, then that's on you. Mm -hmm. But when you know that God is God, then you're going to stand on God's word. Yes. And that's some real talk. Most people yes. got to see it to believe it. But he said, blessed are those who didn't, even more blessed are the ones who didn't see mm -hmm. and who still believe. They, mm -hmm. they, you know, because Thomas yeah. had to touch him. But mm -hmm. the other ones, he said something after that that pretty much gave power to the ones who were coming afterwards yes. to motivate us. So, I mean, you, like I said, you you one of those ones. Man, what was her name? Priscilla? What was her? Priscilla? Priscilla Shira. Shira. Uh -huh. I can't even say the name right. Yeah, that woman Priscilla right there, Shire. that's Tony Evans' daughter. Yes. Mm -hmm. Dr. Yes, Dr. Tony yes, Evans. Yes. Dr. Tony Evans. But yeah, how, how was it working with her? You wonderful. Know? Wonderful. Feet on the ground, heart in heaven. Uh, a lot of fun. <laughs> well, mm -hmm. Have you guys spoken or do you even oh, communicate yes, with yeah, them? Oh, yeah, yes, 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 yes. Were yes, there a lot yes, of bloopers yes. in the in the movie? When I said bloopers, yes. Yes. you know how yes. you're cracking yes. up and having yes. this cut? <laughs> yep, 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 absolutely. <laughs> I'll be wondering. Yeah. Absolutely. Cutting up. 
So I know that you're here um, for The Heart That Forgives mm -hmm. part, two. part two. Yes. Did you watch part one? I did. You did? And what was it about it? part one that made you feel like because I know that when people reach out to you for parts you have to be led to accept the part what was it that made you say I want to be in part two the storytelling the intention intention is everything and of course craft yeah. mm -hmm. ability mm -hmm. yeah yeah and yeah. and read up a little about the people involved too you definitely Ooh. Ooh. very important very important and what's your role um, I am uh, playing Debbie, who is a sister of um, the lead's wife. I, I don't want to say too okay. much. Yeah. Too okay, much. okay, definitely, definitely. definitely. Okay. Yeah. I was just uh, wondering, because yeah. when I was watching, because we've watched how they gonna fit in. I'm like, how is she, where is she going, <laughs> who, who they going to take out and put her in? I'm trying mm -hmm. to figure it out. Mm -hmm. That brother T.C. Stallings, is that a guy that, that, you work with him twice. Mm -hmm. uh, maybe more. I just found mm -hmm. it twice mm -hmm. about the compass. <laughs> what? Yeah, oh, God's compass. God's compass. Yeah, yeah like and and, and war room. Mm -hmm. Like like what? How was it working with him? And Wonderful. How, and how did you you met him on the set? I met him on the set. Yeah. Okay. He yeah, played and his wife and kids, and we became like this. And sometimes there are long periods before we see each other again, but it's always. Mm -hmm. We pick right back up. Great and you guy. have to Great have chemistry. Guy. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, and I like I like the great great chemistry. I think he played your son, mm -hmm. and then he played your son-in-law. Mm -hmm. And I was like, man, they got mm -hmm. a great chemistry, and mm -hmm. I love to see them back on the screen again yeah. together. You know yeah. what I mean? Yeah, we're working on some stuff. Really? In the background. Yeah, we got some. Because mm -hmm. you producing and writing. Now, how did you, what drove you to doing that? It, it was Miss Clara. Okay. Mm. After War Room, everybody was reaching out to me to play their version of Miss Clara. And I was like, okay, God, you know, I'm a classically trained actress. What are we going to do? You know, I'd be crying. It's not be flowing. <laughs> I'd be like, to throw. Right. And then one day in my prayer room, this story started. So you do have a prayer room at home? Yeah. And then this story just started and it wouldn't leave me alone. And then I started writing it out and I've got a friend who only writes scripts. Mm. So we, uh, I put everything together and contacted her and then we sat um, two different locations and um, used a writer's duet and we wrote the script. And what was the name of this one? Uh, what is it? Oh, Discarded Things, girl. That's yes. what I love. Okay, so Discarded Things, because I was just thinking about that a while ago. Mm -hmm. Is that fic like fictional, made up? Or yeah, I, I made it up. But, you know, like I said, I used to be a foster mom. And yeah, because with I, all I the kids. I wanted to put some stuff out there cause, because people always want to adopt um Y'all gotta watch babies. this movie, okay? Discarded things too. Yeah, Don't they want to adopt babies and stuff, mm -hmm. but we've had some beautiful kids come through mm -hmm. our house, mm -hmm. and I want people to really consider some of the older kids. So mm -hmm. I love the way how, um, but in order to do that, you have to truly have patience. You have to have God. I mean, because and these are, as I said, troubled kids that are coming from different walks of life that have to be approached differently. Mm -hmm. um, I love the way in the movie how you, you had to try different ways of yeah. how to reach out to all these different kids. Mm -hmm. But of course, my favorite part is the ending, which I'm not going to tell y'all what happened, but I love yeah, that part um, because that was so unexpected because Good. I hate movies that I'm like, and he... He, he hates when I talk to the, the TV, uh -huh, uh -huh. but he does it too. He uh -huh. acts like he doesn't do it, but he does it too. <laughs> and he's like, why did they just do that? Like, really? That's dumb. I'm like, <laughs> but I hate movies that are um, predictable. Yes. I'm like, oh, I already know what. He's like, did you watch this already? I'm like, no, I just know what's going to happen. Mm -hmm. And so, but that was so unexpected. Oh, and I love it. You did an good. awesome job. Thank you. Thank and the you. filming, everything was great on that Thank movie. You. Thank you. I Thank loved you. it. You had Thank a you. book as well, or, or you had, pr it was a prayer book of, of yes. some sort? Of oh, yes, 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 yes. Let's talk yes. about that for a second. Mm -hmm. I want to try to hit all cylinders before I get you out of here. Yeah, it, just a devotional after War Room again. Mm -hmm. People kept asking me how they should approach prayer. And it, the devotional I did, it's uh, deeper. But it's very simple and basic. Mm. And I tell people, it, God knows your heart. He designed you. He created you. He knows 
everything about you. Just open up honest dialogue. Mm-hmm. It doesn't take that flowery hither the thither the lordeth <laughs> God. You know, just and, and just open honest communication. Right. And that is prayer. And you don't actually have to have a prayer room because let me tell you, I went through my house trying to find a closet (laughs) and clear a closet, but I I couldn't spare a closet space to have a prayer Mm -hmm, room. mm -hmm, mm -hmm. But a lot of people watching that movie like, man, I need to clear somewhere. Like, I need a spot. Any spot. The the woods, your back porch, your car, Mm -hmm. the bathroom. Any place where you are in dialogue becomes that prayer room. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I wow. love it. That is space. any sorry, but is there any of the movies that you've ever acted a true story yet? It's based on it. It's based on a true story. Uh, well, something I did recently is based on a true story, but I didn't produce it. Um, it's a story about an Indian man from mm-hmm. India mm-hmm. who God just moved on his heart, and he was wondering, you know, about children whose parents are in prison, their fathers, what could he do to bring them together? So he um, started praying and um, speaking to a pastor, one pastor in particular, and um, he wanted to uh, have the, he collected some toys and things and he wanted to have the fathers that were in prison wrap the gifts for their kids, but Mm -hmm. he wanted to go even more. He wanted the kids to go to the prison mm. to get the um, gifts, but while they were there, the fathers would wash their feet. Mm. Mm. Mm-hmm. Okay. Isn't that powerful? And, 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 and so these guys who have been in prison, they're crying, they're That's telling different. their kids they're sorry and right. they love them, but yeah, 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 yeah. But you know, Jesus, Jesus wow. washed their feet. Yes, yeah. he did. So uh, that, but you know, I've got some other things coming down the pipeline too. Something I'm very excited about, a um, different way to minister. It is a limited television series called The Healer. I think it's something like that. And I didn't see that. it's a story about a woman who is a therapist. She is an atheist. Yes. She yes. is an atheist she is a staunch atheist and uh, certain things happen and um of all people in the world god gives her the gift of healing Mm. Mm. so she has to struggle with that and all of the things that come with healing because everybody that she prays for puts her hands on they don't get healed Mm -hmm. you know so why um this racist individual and not this baby you know Mm -hmm. why does god let the baby die and you know so it's very interesting Mm. because i know a lot of people who do not believe in god and so forth that you know i need to send some of those movies there wow Wow. you know um you know uh that is nothing you know when you say don't believe in god or atheists you know i think about the word of god and i start to see all these people that y'all talking about they everywhere it didn't you know it didn't just start now and i think a lot of times people don't talk about even false prophecy enough i think people need to be real that that's what was in the word of god when you seen john say in first john you know they was not they was with us, but they, they came no, uh, from among right, us. Um, you know right, what I mean? Right, they, right. they weren't of us, but they came they from among us, us though. Yep. Meaning they started right, but then they end up doing something mm-hmm, else. So mm-hmm. when you see these things, a lot of times people don't really like really stay in that word like she was telling mm-hmm, you earlier, like mm-hmm, you were saying mm-hmm. the same thing. Know your word. It's very important to read and stuff, you know. I read uh Romans chapter eight. You drove me to that before I came <laughs> up here. My <laughs> wife said, Why are you reading Romans chapter eight? I say, Because I don't know. She said something on the show and I I just wanted to read Romans chapter eight. Mm-hmm. Sometimes mm-hmm. it'll hit you like that. Yes. You know what I mean? Yes. So yes. um you know, you like I said, you what who would you like to work with that you haven't worked with already? Oh, uh, there, there is a list of people, a myriad. I've got a movie that someone put in my hands, and they want to do it in Chicago. I've okay, got a friend, love Chicago. I've got a friend that has a skating ring. Okay. It's w- one of the oldest skating rings ever. They were going to tear it down. She said, no, I want to use it for ministry. Wow. So you've got these gang members coming back and forth and whatnot, whatnot. So anyway, um, they remodeled it, and we've got a movie that we're going to, um, we're looking to produce 
um, based around this skating ring. Okay. Uh, Chance the Rapper. Yeah, mm. yeah, dope. Mm-hmm. Yeah, yep, 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 yep. I like yep, Chance. Yep, um, deal yep. with uh, with that would be nice. That would yeah, be he's, nice. he's a Chicagoan, right? Correct. He is. And uh, a believer. Amen. And um, he skated there a couple of times. Wow. So we want to try to pull, pull him, him in. in. We want to pull him in. <laughs> That's yeah, hard. That That's hard. would be awesome. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. So um, do you think that there are enough young people watching uh, Christian-based movies? No, uh, because for a large part, it's coming from that um, a place that isn't loving, that isn't Christ-like at all. Mm-hmm. It's mean, it's judgmental, it's hypocritical, mm-hmm. and they've had enough of that. Mm-hmm. But uh, the, the Bible, Jesus, in the Bible, Jesus told the fishermen, Throw the net. Mm-hmm. Lift okay. that baby up, throw it out the other side. So that's a different way of ministering. So that's why, ergo, um, discarded things. Right. You know, we, we're a little rough and tough. We're mm-hmm. dealing with some tough stuff, but we're dealing with real stuff exactly. that they can relate to. That's exactly. That's so real. Mm-hmm. Yeah, no. That's real, man. Yeah, no. I, tell I, me, oh, go ahead, go tell ahead, go me ahead. about um, Never Heard. Oh, that was fun. Because it, it, you it. worked with David Banner, Robin Givens, what? and Lil David Romeo Banner? on that mm-hmm. one. Mm-hmm. How was it working mm-hmm. with David Banner? <laughs> David Banner? <laughs> yeah, yeah. He was my son who was in prison. It, 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 it was good, actually. It was, it was very interesting. It was good. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. I, and I yeah. say that because David Banner has some very interesting things to say, and I'm going to be honest with you. No, he does. I'm supposed mm-hmm. to be yes, linking up with him. Uh, mm-hmm. Shout out to DJ Burn One. Mm-hmm. Um, I've been trying to get that interview, so I'm, I, I definitely got to get with David. Mm-hmm. I'm interested to see his thoughts. His thought process is a little different, mm-hmm. so mm-hmm. I like different. I'm mm-hmm. uh, God's child, mm-hmm. so I'm the one that he chose a lot of times yes. to speak on his behalf. Yes. I'm one of those guys. Yes. I know that. So I know that whenever we meet, it's going to be a great conversation. I believe mm-hmm. so. I really <laughs> believe so. And I would like to actually have a, a in-depth conversation with him at all of these years after. Mm-hmm. Yeah. 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 That I get movie. It. Yeah. I never mm-hmm. heard. Mm-hmm. <laughs> you know? Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. So, man. So um, I'm just like I say, I, I, I want to. Um, tell you that you got to keep it going man you got to keep us uh, we we got to have that word of god coming through you in those screens because oh, it, it and, and and it it reaches out and touches us a mm. lot of time people you can tell when someone really really is speaking from the heart mm. acting from the heart mm-hmm. you know what i mean mm-hmm. um you remind me of my aunt hattie in that mm. scene with war rooms you know it she passed away now. She was 99 when she passed, but she really was that. She was that in mm-hmm. the end song, mm-hmm. you know. So she, she, you brought that memory to me. So mm-hmm. thank you so much again. See, I never that. knew her as a type of person to speak. She spoke softly oh, all man. the time, mm-hmm. but I've never really seen her get in the spirit. Cause when you get in the spirit, you can get loud with it. Mm-hmm. He know <laughs> I her, know ever since. so he know if she can get like that. But she's always been so soft spoken, tim- not timid, but. Just like caring, she'll give you the word in a heartbeat. I mean, she know how to do them um, tea cakes in a heartbeat too. Yeah, but she wrote, was always going at <laughs> her house. But she wrote so many poems, and some of them reached yes. the White House and stuff oh, like wow, that. In her wonderful. day, she was from fifteen mm-hmm. years old. These oh, times, never, this is in the 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 fifties and sixties. So she was she would she how was, old was she when she passed away? She was ninety nine when she passed mm-hmm. away. Oh, but yeah. but that was probably what 15 years ago Mm -hmm. you know what i mean so at the end of the day she did a lot of things in her time and it was something that we as country people looked up to beautiful because i was country yeah beautiful beautiful how did you come what's the name i cannot pronounce this word is an kalesh your production company it's sana clash it's a native american a term that means earth mother, but people kept asking me that question too, right. uh, you know. And so I ended up just changing it to earth mother. Oh, okay, so you did change it. So it, it means the same thing, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. But it, it, it's it's a catchism, like when you hear that, it makes everybody ask you. Uh huh. So uh-huh. it's good. You should have kept. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> Thought about wow. doubling back, but yeah. Man, mm-hmm. top three, uh, top three um, movies. Yeah, of all times. You top mm-hmm. three. Mm-hmm. I need those. Top three movies of all times. Number Touching. One. I don't movie. care if touch, t- top three her movies. Her top three movies. Okay. 
Oh, I don't know. You. No, no you. you. This is for the guest. What is your t- my favorite? Yes. yes. What are your top three movies of all time? Oh, oh <laughs> period? Period. Um, I would say the first time I saw, oh, God, it might have been Sounder. I never heard that or, one. Or, right? Yeah, Sounder. Yeah. Right. Probably Sounder. Cicely Tyson. Oh. Man. I was about to ask you about her next, but I got yeah. you. I got some yeah. coming. Yeah. I love her. Yeah, 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 yeah. And 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 anything from those days where our people were doing it, it exceptional, but still didn't have the freedom and liberty to be all. But when they stood in front of a camera on the stage, they burn it up because they were just excellent and the giftings that they had, mm-hmm. excellent. You know, and so I'm going to get you number two. But I, since you said that, I want to ask you this question because you've been in the film industry for a while. And being a female, where have you seen the, the industry graduated to compared to what it used to be being a female? in? The oh, industry? my goodness. It was like if you didn't make it by the time you were 26, 30, throw your hands up because there would be some younger girls coming. And, you know, they would put um, Harrison Ford with a. 22 year old girl mm-hmm. when he's 78 and we just believe Hollywood that that is his new wife or mm-hmm. you know that is the way it's supposed to be we were uh, uh, we come we go we get a little older start to get gray hair they toss us out you know so um, but it's it, not like that anymore no it has changed it has changed and I'm so glad for um, Shirley Ralph and the recognition that her. she's you know she's part Jamaican. getting <laughs> yes oh she's beautiful and powerful yes. and that's always Love been and um, yeah things are changing right. and my young girl uh, Bronson with mm. the uh, what what is it Abbott remember. Elementary the mm-hmm. little girl came from basically well what we would think obscurity but she had a script mm. and she would not be denied and then that first season of awards just bring him in this mm-hmm. beautiful young black smart intelligent writer you know who would not take no for an answer because things are changing you know things are changing and not only is she getting kudos for stepping up and being a wonderful wonderful um role model mm-hmm. but it was that show that that young girl wrote young black african-american girl mm-hmm that got Shirley mm. the award. Powerful, Amazing. Powerful. But, um, well, sure, her gifting, Gift, but you yeah. mean, it, but it was in the show that this young mm-hmm. girl created. And it was due time. Powerful. It was due time. Powerful. And so, yeah, yeah, you can't keep the good stuff down forever. Because what I Cream's see. Cream's always going to rise to the top. That's true. But I see, <laughs> what I see women always go through in um, Hollywood is the fact that especially as you're talking about age, I see so many actresses have to do all these cosmetic surgery just to look younger. Oh, God. Yeah, just yeah, so they yeah. can get certain roles because yeah. of they want to keep understanding working. understanding their own true power. You know, you know, not clear on who they really are or whose they really are. Right. So when Hollywood says jump, a lot of people jump. Jump. You know, mm. but 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 things are changing. Mm. You know, that's good. You're well, number two. If, if they knew the, s- the scripture that say you fearfully and wonderfully made. Fearfully, Ephesians two ten. Come on now. When you know that you fearfully, but you made. dangerous when you know. Yeah, you <laughs> are dangerous <laughs> when you know, yeah. and not that head knowledge. Yeah, that right. is in, in your you. Son, in your inner you. man. Yeah. yeah, when yeah. you know that you know that you know. That's that. That's. What they talking That's about. That's what they're talking about. Mm-hmm. Number two. Oh, I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> she mentioned that the movie that every time when you go home and you're looking for something to, to watch, you're like, I'm going to watch this over and over again because I love that movie. She don't watch movies. I don't, I don't watch I do a whole that. lot of stuff. Yeah. I'm the one you know, who the movie. He watches uh, the same I watch movies over and every over. day. I don't care. You're right. you wrong with him? No, no I'm you, saying I will. You will. If I want to, that's what I do. Uh-huh. I don't have to I have can't. no. I can see you do it and catch different things in it. Every yeah, you yeah. like that too. I, <laughs> some people like that. I'm like that. I love. I, it, I have to spread it out. 
I have to watch different things. So I'll go look for different inspirational movies. I cannot watch the same one every single mm -hmm. day all the mm -hmm. time. I mm -hmm. can't do that. I'm gonna let you off the hook on the on the movie. But when I say these names, what comes to mind? Cicely Tyson, since you named her, what comes to mind? Grace, incredible talent, beauty, black smooth beauty. What about uh Maya Angelou? I was not gonna say that. You just gonna take my little old segue, huh? Go Brilliance. Ahead. <laughs> Power, overcomer, trendsetter, path clearer. <laughs> Tyler Perry. He did not give up when the doors were shut because people didn't want to accept what he had to offer. They wanted it a certain way. And he packaged his stuff and took it on the road. Relentless. And powerful. Last but not least, Lou Gossett Jr. Oh, man. I remember watching movies with him. Not only was he gorgeous, but the chops were so tight. And just to see an African-American man up there delivering with class and style mm -hmm. and, and all of that... Um, a treasure. Mm -hmm. A treasure. We watched a movie with him right before we yeah, came out. It here. didn't have her in it, but no. we definitely watched that movie. A treasure. It, it just, just a, a, a man. I've loved all those guys. Man, I know they went through it. People don't realize, but you do. Mm. You're, mm. What they what they mm. had to go through just mm. to be in the business, man. Denzel, um, even Denzel, like mm -hmm. the the when you think about the way that we still have people like Eddie Murphy who don't are you or mm -hmm. whoever mm -hmm. hadn't been that recognized in certain ways. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. We have to learn to find it within ourselves again. I go mm -hmm. right back to mm -hmm. that. You mm -hmm. know what I mean? It doesn't matter what you think about me. It's what I feel about me. Yes. What I feel God feels about yes. me. I don't have to worry about yes. what anyone thinks. That's about That's the ultimate yes. judge. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, thank you so much, man. What else you got? What are the upcoming roles or upcoming um, movies that are, I know you probably are filmed, they're coming out soon, probably sometime 2023, that we should be looking for it as coming out. I've got a uh, piece, actually, it'll be playing on um, uh, Pure Flix. Mm -hmm. It's a TV series I shot last year called Eleanor's Bench, where I'm playing a... Uh, a judge. I saw that. In juvie <laughs> court. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I used to be a highfalutin um, lawyer in a top-notch law firm, but I leave to sit on juvie bench, and so we get some stories up in there, girl. Mm. Across the board, stories, powerful stories. A lot of people are doing episodes in, um, now more than movies. I noticed mm -hmm. that. Mm -hmm. Oh, and something just came back to my memory. When I was looking you up, it said Saved by the Bell. Oh, and I'm yeah. like, I, in my mind, watching Saved by the Bell, I'm like, I don't remember one little black girl in Saved by the Bell. I'm like, well, I don't it, was, it was the new generation because they had oh, okay. rebooted. I remember that. Yeah, That's yeah, where you yeah, came in that yeah, one. Yeah, okay. Because yeah. I couldn't figure generation. it out. And when I tried, I'm trying to find it. I'm like, yeah. where did she? Yeah. Yeah. Wow, man. Yeah. We love you. Well, thank Karen, you. Karen, we love you. you. Ain't no way, you, you know, you, you stuck with us now. Well, well you know what? <laughs> That's good. Because I have to say, y'all stuck with me. <laughs> <laughs> Man, I enjoyed this. So we this. just three stuck people. <laughs> No, and just I, it's some good stuff in that stuff. Yeah, too. man. Anything you need when you're in Texas, man, or okay. uh, I, definitely if I'm in North Carolina, uh -huh. because North Carolina got a place called Rocky Mountain and some more stuff up there. And it, we had Archivius Armstrong mm -hmm. that flew down from North Carolina and said God told him to come. And we first started this. We like already. Oh, mm -hmm. That just, was the first person. I, he was ever a motivational flew speaker. He wow. just flew in on his own and wanted wow. to be on Boss Talk and said wow. he just it was the way that I spoke or what he heard and he wow. wanted to be a part of it. Well, that's really beautiful. Mm -hmm. But it, I know it was God. Yeah, it was yeah. always God because God, that's God that's how we walk stuff. around here. Yes. You know what beautiful. I mean? Yeah. Beautiful. So, man, um, how can people get a, uh, a a hold of you? What's your handle on Instagram? We asked um, that too. Yeah, I'm um, Real Karen Abercrombie okay. at Real Karen Abercrombie on Instagram and um, KarenAbercrombie.com website man. and a couple different Facebook pages. But watch and see what the Lord is doing because he's up to some stuff. Oh, man, I already know it, man. It doesn't, he is up it to doesn't some surprise stuff. me. Mm -hmm. No, it doesn't surprise me because the way you speak, the mm. the faith, and, and, and the way you walk. Mm. 
Mm-hmm. You see what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. It, it, you walk by faith. You know, it's not by mm-hmm. sight. So ain't no telling what's about mm-hmm. to happen. Mm-hmm. And thank you so much for coming on Boss Talk 101, man. Where the bosses talk. And we out. <laughs> <laughs> I'll see you.